Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pad Attack. I'm Ashton Patterson, and this is Zephyr Patterson. And today, we'll be teaching you a break dancing move because it was raining outside, and we couldn't do any more flips anymore. It was sad. But, I mean, this is our first break dancing tutorial. We've been break dancing for a while, so we're going to teach you a move called the coffee grinder. The coffee grinder, I would say, requires no further experience with break dancing. It's kind of like a first move you can just learn. It also doesn't require much muscle. It does require lots of practice, so that's that's gonna be a lot while. Maybe like a month, maybe like a month, yeah, about a month it takes to learn. But otherwise, it's pretty easy. So we'll teach you now. is you get into a position like this. So, now like this, knees up, side view position, like this. Hands down like this. It's really important because if you don't do that, the whole trick will basically not even function. The next step is, if you're right-handed, you stick your right leg out. If you're left-handed, you stick your left leg out. Simple. So, what you want to do is you want to stick your right leg out and then you want to curl it or as break dancers say hook it over your left slash right just depends if you're right handed or left leg left handed leg like we said before leg out and hook practice that before you go to this step this step is so like we said beginning right leg out hook it over the left leg and then this time this, le my left leg, what I do is I put it over the leg that is hooking my left leg. And so I jump over it, like I would say, on Jezifer. And then I would, once I jumped over it, I would move it over here again, like that. So just keep practicing that routine. Now that we've gone over the whole trick, let me tell you some tips for it now. Okay, first tip is when you stick your leg out right here and hook, Right here, you don't want this leg to touch this leg. You just want to barely go around it. You don't want it to touch, otherwise you might trip yourself when you're doing it. So you go like this, and then you jump over it before it even hits. And so that's tip number one. Tip number two is when you're swinging your leg around like this, you don't want to drag on the ground like you're lazy. It doesn't look very cool, and you're going you're gonna to get... Dance battles lost, lo lost because of that. So you want to keep it up, like this, not like this, this. See, and then you jump over it like that way, and just keep going faster and faster and faster. That gets you more speed when you're on the ground. It doesn't give you much speed at all. Last tip is, when you're when you put your leg out, don't bend it like this. Keep it straight. That's just one reason why. So when you flip it around, you don't want it to look like you're bending your leg in little circles. You want to make it look like big circles. Like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And 